Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Today is another plan with me and monthly setup in my Sugar and Spice Mini Happy Planner. Right now I'm just popping out my da my dashboard as well as um, the weekly pages that I'm going to plan in. Um, I'm not using the monthly pages in my Mini Happy Planner just because um, I'm not really sure how to um how i want to use those pages yet i have an idea for march so i'm going to definitely try it so anyway um i'm going ahead and set up my dashboard i'm really excited about using this i think it is so cute so my top goals are to declutter to pack clothes um to pack my classroom up and to move this month if you guys have not been watching my uh, teacher happy planner video and my plan with me and monthly setup then you don't know that my family is relocating to another um state and so i am ending my job early and moving on with my family my husband got a new position in a new state so we're gonna all move together and so um my top three this month is to um read my bible study that i want to get done working out and eating clean um, my inspiration is just change and celebrating the the changes that are going on in my life um a pastor told me this one time that change is not always a bad thing it's a good thing sometimes and um i feel like this is a good change for my family and that it was led by the lord so um my checklist is just packing up my babies um, less than nine month clothes decluttering clothes out cleaning out the desk in my home because we're going to get rid of that decluttering all of my hair stuff I am such a product junkie um, and I have tons of hair products that I don't really use so they're sitting up collecting dust so it's the perfect time to get rid of that um, I'm going to be uh, decluttering my makeup and decluttering all of my cleaning supplies and cook up the frozen foods that I have in my refrigerator um, and the first thing I'm pulling out is my gorgeous trendsetter mini um, edition. And I was looking for a sticker that I could use in this. You guys know I love my clear stickers. And then they have these really pretty um, foil stickers. And then I found this one that says, Life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. I love that the back has that kind of pinkish look to it. And it just it really worked for this spread so I put in under big ideas so now I'm ready to get started with my weekly planning I got some inspiration when I was doing my um, teacher edition I found these really cute florals in my student edition um, sticker book so I decided that I wanted to use those so right now what I'm doing is just laying those stickers all down on the side and I'm going to show you why I did that in just a moment Okay, so now that I've laid them all down, I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut right up the um, entire side of the page for the stickers that's hanging off. I'm sorry that I'm a little out of frame on this one, but I basically just cut a straight line and then I was going to lay the stickers down in a straight line, but I couldn't really line them up like I wanted to. It was just a lot of sticker to work with. So I went ahead and separated them and laid them down right up against the edge of um, the planner pages I thought that that was really um, unique and it looked really nice so um, I decided to go ahead and um, lay that down around the corner then I had to cut off just a little bit of some stickers so you'll see me do that really quickly because it was kind of hanging off the side and you know how that gets when it sticks together but I absolutely love how um, my spread is looking so far. I believe it just took over the flamingos, which was last week, and it was my favorite. So now um, February florals are my favorite. I decided that I wanted to put some floral at the top as well. So I just put one sticker and um, I laid down the remaining on the side of the January and February. And then I was going to use the smaller stickers that come um, along with it it's on the same page but when I put it down I didn't like the way that it looked so of course you're gonna see me um, pick that up and that's a, one of the great things about the um, me and my big idea stickers they are nine times out of ten easily removable so you can absolutely change your mind which is what I did and I love the way that turned out you guys 
And so now I'm ready to get to the meat and the heart of my planning um, because that's the basic of my decor. I decided to use the Choose Happy Sticker Book just because it has all these beautiful florals in it. I found a new sheet of florals that I will probably use um, for springtime. Um, and I was having some issues with my camera, so please forgive me for the wobbliness there. So see those are some gorgeous florals there so I'm definitely going to use that closer to springtime. But um, I decided to use that Have a Heart of Gratitude sticker there and um, I just laid it right on top of my florals. I love the way it looks. I love the, the idea of black and white. I think it is so nice um, in a planner. Then I found this really beautiful gold foil sticker um, and it's perfect for Monday. You did not wake up this morning to be mediocre. I thought that was so cute. So um, I definitely wanted to put that down on a Monday just so um, it'll be my motivation to start off my week. Um, this is going to be a difficult couple of weeks for my family just transitioning to a new um place and not so much difficult it's just going to be a new experience and so I just want to keep myself motivated as much as possible so I'm pulling out some flag stickers and I'm putting it in a um, unique place on the side um, of the planner just because um, of the florals and then I thought about it that it will look really really good in the middle so I pulled it up and put it down on the middle and then I put one for Tuesday and I put one down for Wednesday um, because those are two of my busiest days of the week as well as well Tuesday Wednesday and Thursdays are pretty busy for me um, and then I was just looking for like weekend stickers, something that I can lay down um, between Friday and Saturday um, because we're going to be really looking forward to the weekends, um, just spending time as a family and getting adjusted to um, the changes that are coming our way. So I'm just basically flipping through my sticker book. I'm just looking for some inspiration. I absolutely love the Choose Happy sticker book. It has some beautiful colors. The front of it is more so um, your bright pink colors and then your um the back part is more of like pastels and lilacs um so just really soft colors in the back so i like that transition um i did not want to use those colors just because i wanted something to go with my florals so i picked this really cute hooray sticker so hooray for friday and then i chose that yellow sticker just so i can put down any notations throughout the week that i need so i'm going to definitely leave that blank um so once again, I was looking at those weekend banners and I decided to use one. Um, you really need to be careful with these stickers. I didn't tear mine up, but just be careful when you're pulling them out because it's very easy to tear up. And I decided to put it in between Saturday and um, Friday um, just to show that the weekend is there. Then I pulled out my Rose Gold um, Bible um book stickers and they are in my sticker roll my faith sticker rolls and i i definitely use those for bible study purposes just so that i can um notate what the scripture was for that day and what the um topic was for that day and i do it for a church as well and i also get a faith um sticker that i like to put on sundays you know keeping god present at all times and um i always like to um have a faith sticker in all of my planners just about i don't really put it in my teacher edition because it's just for like functional purposes and i only have it at school monday through friday but it's a good thing to have it in there too so i may start putting one in there as well so um i was going to lay down this large sticker but um it didn't fit where i wanted it to and then I was going to lay down this blue and red sticker and once I got it down and I started looking at it, I didn't really like the way it looked on the page. Um, I love my circle stickers, you know, So, I, and one of my favorites is Be Still, but when I got to looking at um, just the thing that I picked out for my mini planner, I decided not to use either of those stickers. So I went back um, and just laid it back down on... Um, the sticker sheet that I got it from and I kept on my search and I found one that I like ask seek and knock I think that is um, really representational of the change that is going on in my family right now um, so that was what I wanted to use and then finally I was looking at Saturday and I thought my spread was done but as I began to look at Saturday it looked really really blank um, so I wanted to add an additional sticker 
um, to Saturday just because um, you know it just looked really really blank and Saturday probably won't be a busy day so um, I found a um, pink flag sticker to add to that just so if, I, if I have anything I want to know so thanks so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up remember to keep God first in everything you do happy planning and teaching you guys bye